I don't think it's a deal killer because Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 7717 Southeast Carlton Street here in Portland, Oregon. Located in the basement, there's a four inch cast iron clean out. This is the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We have water running. Here we go. Here at nine feet, it transitions over to four inch ABS. And here at 30 feet, it transitions over to 6-inch PVC pipe. Here at the transition, I wanted to point out that the uh, line is draining out fine through here currently, but it looks like the PVC pipe has possibly shifted downward and separated a little bit away there. Um, you can see the edge of the PVC line there. Um, so I would uh, recommend submitting the video to the city so they can take a look at that. It would appear that the PVC has shifted, not the ABS, because you can see how the pipe has dropped downward. Otherwise, the ABS would have to have a levitated itself somehow. We're going to keep going. Okay, let the line drain out so we have a better look at things here. Uh, there is some root intrusion here at 38 feet. It's currently not blocking the line. I'll try and locate that here at the end to find out where it's at exactly. And we're back in ter or into terracotta pipe here.
Okay, we're here at 54 feet. Just in front of the camera head is the transition over to the main lateral. I'm not going to advance my camera into there because of how separated this is. I don't want to get my camera stuck in there. Uh, but there is some significant damage to the concrete pipe here at the very end of the line. Hugely separated and uh, looks like it's also broken as well. So I would recommend submitting the video to the city so they're aware of this and can get out here to, to fix it because I can pretty much guarantee you every drop of water is, unless a toilet flush goes through here, is draining right out into the ground. It's a huge separation there. And it did transition here at 52 feet to concrete. There's only like two or three feet of concrete in the line. I'm going to do some locates just to see where we're at. I'm also going to locate the transition from ABS to PVC as that appears to have uh, settled on the ground. Now located here, uh, there's a vehicle parked on the street where the line is running underneath, but I'm picking the camera head up about two, three feet out into the street at this point. So uh, this would be a city issue. I'm going to go ahead and reel back here to the transition to PVC pipe and see where this is located at. It has, that PVC pipe does look like it's shifted a little bit by an inch or so. And if it continues to shift or that joint separates too much, you can get roots coming through there. Okay, and I did do locates here. And I found the camera. Uh, it's only it's probably not even a foot from the curb. We're in the middle of the grass curb strip uh, right before the street. And so it's uh, worth checking with the city to see whose responsibility this would be. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is in the city right of way or not here at this point. Uh, it's one of those things, it's currently functioning. I am concerned though that at some point you might get roots through here or that will continue to settle and uh, close off this opening here more and more. But currently, the uh, line is functioning properly out to the street, uh, despite the issues that we found. Um, well, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, re it's, it's functioning out to the street curb. The uh, issue at the main lateral is very significant. It looks like all the water, um, except for something like high volume water, like a tub draining or a toilet flush, might make it up over that um, damaged pipe, but most of it will be seeping out into the ground. So it's very important the city uh, is made aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera all the way back out.